Praise God. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the message on today. Open up the minds and hearts of your people and let them receive what thus says the Lord. Turn with me to Daniel's chapter 4. That's Daniel's chapter 4. And I'm reading from the Inspirational Bible. King Nebuchadnezzar sent this letter to the people, nations, and those who speak every language in all the world. I wish you peace and great wealth. The Most High God has done miracles and wonderful things for me that I am happy to tell you about. His wonderful acts are great and his miracles are mighty. His kingdom goes on forever and his rule continues from now on. I, Nebuchadnezzar, was happy and successful at my palace, but I had a dream that made me afraid. As I was lying on my bed, I saw pictures and visions in my mind that alarmed me. So here we see a pagan king who God gave the gift of having visions and dreams. So I ordered all the wise men of Babylon to come to me and tell me what my drink meant. The fortune tellers, magicians, and wise men came, and I told them about the dream. But they could not tell me what it meant. Finally, Daniel came to me. I called him Belshazzar to honor my God because the spirit of the holy God is in him. I told my dream to him. I said, Belshazzar, you are the most important of all the fortune tellers. I know that the spirit of the holy God is in you, so there is no secret that is too hard for you to understand. This was what I dreamt. Tell me what it means. These are the visions I saw while I was lying in my bed. I looked, and there in front of me was a tree standing in the middle of the earth, and it was very tall. The tree grew large and strong. The top of the tree touched the sky and could be seen from anywhere on earth. The leaves of the trees were beautiful. It had plenty of good fruit on it, enough fruit for everyone. The wild animals found shelter under the tree, and the birds lived in its branches. Every animal ate from it. As I was looking at those things in the vision, while lying on my bed, I saw an observer, a holy angel coming down from heaven. He spoke very loudly and said, Cut down the tree and cut off its branches. Strip off its leaves and scatter its fruit. Let the animals under the tree run away, and let the birds and the branches fly away. But leave the stump and its root in the ground with a band of iron and bronze around it. Let it stay in the field with the grass around it. Let the man become wet with dew, and let him live among the animals and plants of the earth. Let him not think like a human any longer. But let him have the mind of an animal for seven years. The observer gave this command. The Holy One declared the sentence. This is so all people may know that the Most High God rules over every kingdom on earth. God gives those kingdoms to anyone he wants. And he chooses people to rule them who are not proud. That is what I, King Nebuchadnezzar, dreamt. Now, be up, Bazaar. Tell me what the dream means. None of the wise men in my kingdom can explain it to me, but you can, because the spirit of the holy God is in you. Amen. Now, before we come up with the answer that Daniel gives the king, Understand that in verse 17, 
It said, This is so all people may know that the Most High God rules over every kingdom on earth. God gives those kingdoms to anyone he wants, and he chooses people to rule them who are not proud. Amen. So again, for every ruling nation, there's a king, a queen, a president, so have you. God is the one who places them in rulership. Amen. And we must understand this because back in the day, you could not talk badly about a ruler without losing your head. Amen. And today, we do all sorts of things. Not understanding that it is God who places them in charge. So Daniel explained the dream. Then Daniel, who was called Belshazzar, was very quiet for a while because his understanding of the dream frightened him. So the king said, Belshazzar, do not let the dream or its meaning make you afraid. Then Belshazzar answered, My master, I wish the dream was about your enemy, and I wish its meaning were for those who are against you. You saw a tree in your dream that grew large and strong. Its top touched the sky, and it could be seen from all over the earth. Its leaves were beautiful, and it had plenty of fruit for everyone to eat. It was a home for the wild animals, and its branches were nesting places for the birds. O king, you are that tree. So in the Bible, a tree is symbolic of us individual. You have become great and powerful like the tall tree that touched the sky. Your power reaches to the far parts of the earth. O king, you saw an observer, a holy angel, coming down from heaven who said, cut down the tree and destroy it, but leave the stump and its roots in the ground with a band of iron and bronze around it. Leave it in the field with the grass. Let him become wet with dew and live like a wild animal for seven years. This is the meaning of the dream, O King. The Most High God has commanded these things to happen to my master, the King. You will be forced away from people to live among the wild animals. People will feed you grass like an ox, and dew from the sky will make you wet. Seven years will pass, and then you will learn this lesson. The Most High God is ruler over every kingdom on earth, and he gives those kingdoms to anyone he chooses. Amen? Since the stump of the tree and its roots were left in the ground, your kingdom will be given back to you. When you learn that one in heaven rules your kingdom. So here, King Nebuchadnezzar had a lesson to learn. And we all have lessons to learn, praise God. And the lesson was that God is in control and in charge. And he places rulership over people. The kings, queens, and presidents is not more important than the people. Amen. So, O king, please accept my advice. Stop sinning and do what is right. God is telling us, telling the higher uppers, the kings, the queens, the presidents, to stop sinning. He's telling the people to stop sinning and do what is right. 
Stop doing wicked things and be kind to the poor. Then you might continue to be successful. We have prophets proclaiming good news, <clears throat> prosperity, fame, fortune, and the favor of God. But brothers and sisters, we have wickedness in this country and outside of this country. Men and women, and they know who they are. They know right from wrong. We have people doing little wicked deeds. We have people telling little lies. But God knows who these people are. And he says, stop sinning and do what is right in the sight of the Lord. And then he will continue to make you successful. We have people who disobey every precept in the Word of God. They don't fast. They don't pay tithes. They don't give offerings. And yet, they complain and murmur about how they are poor. Repent and change your evil way is what God called everyone to do on today. Amen. These are the last days, saints. And there is no time because our sons and our daughters are suffering for the sins of the fathers and the mothers and the grandparents because they learn only what we show them and they think that what they have learned is correct. When we have in this country millions of children who cannot read, we should be ashamed because we have free education. When we have parents cursing out their children on Facebook for no apparent reason, they're putting babies out of the house. Whether they're the parents or the grandparents, they're caregivers and not showing love. We need to change our way of thinking. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God's rule is forever and his kingdom continues for all time. People on earth are not truly important. God does what he wants with the powers of heaven and the people on earth. No one can stop his powerful hand or question what he does. But remember, because he loved us, he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, to buy us back from Satan, a curse that we placed on ourselves. We must stop 
the continuation of generational curses. Take heed to the message that is provided for us in Daniel chapter 4 and change. This is Pastor Catherine from Mom. Have a blessed day. And remember, let not that tree be you. Amen?